a big New England welcome from Portland, Maine. This is good old JR Tim Ross here with Jerry the King Law. I've never seen a crowd so fired up, JR. They can't wait to get started, and neither can I. That makes two of us, King. I don't think Portland's going to know what hit it after tonight. Pretty obvious which way this one's gonna go, JR. Well, from my perspective, this is still anybody's match. I'd like to see things from your perspective, JR, but I'd have to get my head out of my rear end first. And Lord knows it's been up there for so long that that would be no easy feat. It's like he read his opponent's mind. The submission is locked in. This could be huge. Oh my gosh, JR! You can't go on without tapping after this! Look at this, JR! Can you imagine SmackDown putting on a match half as good as this? No disrespect intended for our SmackDown colleagues, but no, I can't, King. I truly believe Raw is the dominant brand of sports entertainment. And you hit the nail right on the head there, JR. The dominant brand. Not the slightly better brand or the sort of superior brand. Absolutely not. I'm a wrong man. And I have to believe we're head and shoulders better than the competition. You won't get any argument from me, JR. SmackDown's the minor leagues as far as I'm concerned. A textbook reversal there. I tell you, King, sometimes I get exhausted just watching these superstars compete. I know what you mean, JR. I don't think most people appreciate what incredible athletes these WWE superstars really are. You've got to have some excellent conditioning to be able to do what they do. Well, that's the name of the game, JR. You've got to keep moving. No dog ever peed on a moving car. Oh, that's a lovely image, King. I'd ask you where you'd come up with this stuff, but I don't think I want to know, quite frankly. You're not going to get him with that one. You can say what you like about Van Van Bigger, but he's established himself as a legend in this business. And quite frankly, I don't think he gives a damn what anyone thinks. What was your first clue, JR? The tattoo covering his entire head, maybe? That's one of them for sure, King. I think it was pretty obvious that Van Van Bigelow was never going to be a spot broker. This capacity crowd is making their opinions known tonight. They sure are, JR, and I'd love to hear it. <laughs> Would you look at that? A blatantly illegal maneuver. That should be a disqualification. You might be right, JR, but I don't hear the ring bell. This match is still going. This match has the potential to be an instant classic, but I think these fans are too stupid to realize it. How can you say that, King? How can you insult the intelligence of these WWE fans? Well, I heard that we gave them an IQ test, and the results came back to them. Folks, I've got to apologize for the King here tonight. He must have gotten up on the wrong side of somebody else's bed this morning. He countered that and made it look easy. The momentum is all with that man now. And here he goes with the world's strongest slam. As big and strong and mean as Mark Henry is, I don't see this match going on much longer. I understand the setup. He can pin him right here, JR. I think this crowd has decided to exercise the right of free speech. God bless the First Amendment, JR. I've seen a lot of big guys come and go over the years, JR, but I've never seen anyone quite like Bam Bam Bigelow. The big man from Asbury Park, New Jersey, has left a string of broken bodies in his wake during his legendary career. And we can see another one out of that list right here tonight. Well, from the looks of things, it's not hard to tell how this one's gonna go. What are you talking about, King? I think this is still an extremely competitive match that could go either way. Well, JR, it's obvious that the only exercise you get is stretching the truth.
or jumping to conclusions. Well, judging from the shape I'm in, I oh, don't appear to be doing too much of either, King. You're looking pretty fit, though, I must say. Listen to the crowd, JR. I think they've got something to say to these superstars. And if they're smart, they'll listen. Watch out! He reversed it! You gotta respect the commitment and the dedication of these superstars to their careers. No question about it, King. Every superstar on the roster has had to make more sacrifices than any other professional athlete I know. It really is like being married to your career. There's not much room for anything else. And marriage is a subject which you happen to be something of an authority. Isn't that right, King? Come on now, JR. A man doesn't know what true happiness is until he's married. And then it's too late. And here's the pin! One, two, three! Here's your winner!